Hey everybody, just kind of making a quick video here, uh, mainly for the new guys that are uh, new to building these ARs. I've been frequenting a lot of the uh, AR-15 builders forums, and a lot of the new guys that are getting on there kind of get themselves into some situations that I'm positive could be avoided if they just had the proper tools for the job. Um, so I just kind of want to make a quick video for them just to kind of basically get into it. I'm by no means a, an authority on it, but I've built definitely my fair share of these things and kind of just have found out what works for me and what's nice. Um, so maybe just kind of pass that along. Um, but one thing that you are really going to need, I mean, if you're going to even own an AR, not even just build them, just have an armor's wrench. These things are worth their weight in gold. They're good for 99% of the things you need to do to your gun. Um, so we can do barrel nuts, we can do you know, buffer tube castle nuts, we've got um, muzzle devices, we can hook up torque wrenches to, to torque our nuts. Um, so an armor's wrench, good quality, I mean they're I think like maybe 30-40 bucks for a decent one. Um, they're just, there's a lot of them out there. Buy a good quality one, don't cheap out on it, because this is a tool that you're going to have forever. Um, I've bought this thing so long ago, I, I think it's a DPMS, but I'm, I can't remember because I've had this thing for so long, but it's Definitely one of those things that's that's never going to leave my collection. Um, another good thing to have around, some punches. Um, you're going to need them from time to time to, to punch out some of these roll pins and things that you're putting in there. Um, so a, a good set of those is, is worth it. I think I paid like 12 bucks for these things at our local hardware store. Um, it's actually a gunsmith set. So, I mean, I've used this on my, my XDM pistols and things like that as well. So, I mean, it's, it's worth having it around just for any firearm that you're going to be using. Um, you know, naturally, if you're going to have punches, you need to have a hammer. So, I mean, like a small ball peen, this thing's laying on here right now, just something that's uh, maybe not going to mar up your surfaces if you got to do a little whack to some things. Um, another really big thing um, to me is, of course, a vice. If you're just, you know, you're going to do man stuff, you need to have a vice because old vices are great. You can use them for multiple things your home projects um you know motorcycles cars mainly guns because that's what we're dealing with here now um decent set of allen wrenches because you know you do need them for things like your grips um another thing that i think is really worth its weight in gold of having is this uh mag pull bev block this is an amazing tool to have um Kind of the older way to do things. I know I started borrowing friends' tools and stuff when I first started building ARs, and um, you know, he's a gunsmith, so he actually had you know all the different fixtures and jigs that you'd you'd put these in. So we had a different one you put in a vice for an upper, as you did for a lower, and then you had you know clamps for things. So um, for for guys like us, they're just building and you know having some fun and doing this. This thing offers all that you need. I mean, it's got a you know a barrel device on it so um, we can really put some some torque on things here um, I'll just kind of give you a basic gist of how it works with that vice that you're gonna need we just put that in kind of go this way so I got one hand here so we'll straighten this out and we'll just tighten it up so that's tight so I'll take my old trusty AR pistol here now I've been beating the snot out of this thing this is actually the first AR that I ever built Still going strong and I love it. Almost five years old now. So what this thing will do is these lugs will just lock right in and there we go. So if I want to keep it in place with the bev block, they supply these pins. So we can slide the pins in here, lock them into the lower. Um, if this little bit of jiggling is, is too much for you and you don't want to deal with it, um, what you can do is just remove the bolt from your bolt carrier group and then just slide the carrier in and it'll actually uh, Grab a hold of that plunger right there, and they'll just kind of stick together like that. Um, I generally don't have too much of an issue with that moving around, so um, it's nice to have. Um, one thing too, like if you're going to be, you know, I like to build all kinds of AR, so anything from high-end billet ones to I even have a couple of the ATI polymers, and I also use a ATI polymer upper. And one of the things on that is, you know, when you're torquing torquing out barrel nuts and muzzle devices, um, you run the risk of, you know, snapping, snapping pins here just from the torque. Um, whereas this actually, 
you know, box that barrel in, you can just crank on it, and it's uh, fantastic. It's really good for removing stubborn barrel nuts as well. Um, so it's a really nice feature to have on there. So once that's done, say we don't want to work on our upper anymore. One other thing too is, you know, when you're latching onto these pieces and you really got something that's, that's stubborn, um, you know, it is possible to, to torque these uppers. I have seen it happen. Um, seen it firsthand, not pretty. It's never cool to toast an upper that doesn't need to be. So actually having a, a barrel extension is worth its weight. I mean, just fantastic. Um, so now let's say we want to work on a lower. So we can just swap this over. Pull this out. Make my vise a little bit bigger here. Because it's a little bit fatter on this side. So once that's in there, I'm going to... This gets difficult sometimes. So lock this in place. Boom. It's not going to be perfectly straight, but it's there and you'll get the gist. So I want to work on my lower. This works just like a magazine would. Clicked on there. Now I can work on my lower. Um, and like I said, instead of having this whole tool full of toolbox full of different vices and, um, or sorry, not vices, but the you know vice fixtures, I only need this one tool. And it, also, you know, in my case, I, if I ever need it, um, I can just slide it right into one of the mag pouches. So um, just fantastic to have around. So um, and just kind of the basic gist. I mean, those are really the the main kind of meat and potatoes that that you need. Um, so definitely, you know, the armor's wrench. These things are nice to have, but you will definitely be wanting them later on because um, we all know that one AR turns into five or six, and then more for your friends and things like that. So um, I definitely just just kind of take a look into it. Um, the beer is also an important tool. Because, you know, we always remember to have fun with this, man. A lot of these guys get wrapped up in themselves and just, uh, you know, think they've got to be a total operator this whole time with everything. And it's really, man, it's, if you're going to build a $300 AR, if you're going to build a $3,000 AR, um, these are going to be the tools that you need to do it. And, you know, everybody's got to start somewhere. So remember to have fun. That's what this is all about. If this wasn't fun then uh, none of us would do it. So, you know, have fun with it, guys. But uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, you know, feel free to, to make some comments or, or do whatever. Um, I'm, I'm here to help everybody as much as I can. But that's just kind of for you new guys, man. The proper tools will save you so many headaches that it's not even funny. So thanks for uh, taking a peek.